Hey guys, welcome back. I got a couple more things in the mail. I got the 417 Motorsports intake that I ordered. I also got the uh, other intake I was talking about. This is another 4150 sheet metal. Um, I believe this is an old uh, intakeelbows.com one. They went out of business, but they made really nice stuff. Uh, it's not welded on the inside, just a little bit in the corners. But if you look here, this intake is actually a little bit more than 90. It's like 100 and it's either 100 degree or 110 degrees. I actually put this on because I got it a day before this one, and it would have worked. I could I could have made that one work, but uh, it actually points the throttle body down a little bit, which makes lining up the pipe work. Just a little bit harder and then so which i wasn't planning to use that anyway i just bought it because it was super cheap and they're pretty rare now so save that for a rainy day but here's the 417 motorsports one it's really nice it's actually true 90 degrees so it, it fits perfect it's gonna line up perfect it looks really good i got my wilson throttle body on there uh this is double welded it's welded on the outside welded on the inside it has uh the vacuum block in the back for my intake temp sensor vacuum lines so that's nice i don't i got to weld a bung on there or anything and then uh what's cool about these is it's o-ringed on the throttle body side and on the flange side so no more need for you know paper gaskets which i never had any problems with paper gaskets but uh o-rings just that much slicker so yeah this intake's really nice um i knew it would be Quality's great, welds are great. Uh, yeah, it's gonna work out slick. So we got that. Um, I gotta get just this little bit of pipe. Too bad this elbow wasn't a little bit longer because it would literally go straight in this. So I just have to have Jake weld me a bung here, or weld an extension, which I kinda got a pipe started here. It's too long, but you get the idea. And then I gotta get a couple of uh, mounting bungs threaded aluminum bungs welded to this so i can make uh, some hangers so yeah, that's all he's got to do is just a couple little things for me should be really quick and easy uh worked out pretty good i also got this uh turbo guard for my turbo in the past i haven't ran anything on there but uh i figured for these are like 50 55 60 bucks which you're it's kind of retarded for uh this is literally just screen door mesh you know i could have made one for nothing but these are pretty clean they got their molded into the silicone here but is it worth 50 bucks no in my opinion but is 50 dollars cheap insurance that you don't blow up uh a 1500 dollar turbo yes because my buddy uh, i've seen it done is he had a little vacuum nipple like this and he took it off and just put a cap on there and he was making so much boost that it bl it blew the nipple off and the turbo was sucking so much air that somehow even though it was behind the inlet it blew off and flew inside the turbo and destroyed the uh the compressor wheel so i definitely don't want that to happen on this nice turbo and not to mention i've always been kind of weary of this belt i've never had the belt come off or anything but if it ever were to chuck a belt it's probably going to throw it straight into that turbo so a screen is just a good good measure of protection and i haven't seen i've done some reviews and stuff is there's really no loss of power or anything when you put one of these on here so got that so now i just need to get like i said that pipe cut for the right angle and then i've got a uh, a linkage it bolts here and here so i can get my throttle body or the yeah, the uh, throttle linkage here, it's from Maven Performance. They also make really nice stuff. It's kind of universal. It bolts. That kept me from having to weld brackets onto this brand new sheet metal elbow. So that'll be here in a couple days. And then, yeah, so I just need to get that. Get that pipe welded. Get the bungs welded on there. Make some mounting tabs. And we are done. Other than a radiator hose and water lines, which I'll just get at the hardware store and run them to the actual cooler.
So yeah, things are looking pretty good. Um, I'll get that pipe cut and I'll show you that and then uh, stay tuned and we'll get stuff over to Jake, have him weld it for me. Okay, yeah guys, this is, I just got this little piece cut here. Uh, it's just clamped so it holds in place so I can tell I can get Jake to have him weld that probably this weekend. Um, I did check the hood. Everything clears good. Uh, it's gonna it's gonna work out awesome. So yeah, stay tuned. I'll get him that, get that stuff welded, and then we'll be pretty much all but done. Uh, thanks for watching, and I'll see you later.